Hi, this is Brian Bartlett, the Relocation Program Manager here at Fort Riley, Kansas, home of the Big Red One. Coming to you today, well, we have a very special program for everybody out there. We're bringing in all the spouses. We have the subject matter experts all about moving to Fort Riley. And yes, we have Miss Lily there that's going to tell us all about it herself. Uh, today, we want you to be able to talk to the ones that's went through it all. We have, we have spouses here who just now got here this week, and we have spouses that are actually leaving here. Okay, which is pretty awesome. They've been through the entire gamut. So if you have any questions whatsoever, now's the time to ask it. Um, and bring it up on social media, ask a question, then we'll get you the answer, either right here today or we'll get to you in the future. Now, we know when you start uh, planning on coming to Fort Riley or you come down on orders for Fort Riley, nobody in America knows where Fort Riley, Kansas is. And everybody's going to get onto the internet search browsers and try to uh, find out what about where is Fort Riley. First thing you're going to find out about Fort Riley is about uh, an old man named Custer who you may or may not have heard about in school. Then you're going to hear, probably learn a little bit about a guy named uh, General Patton. Well, we all kind of heard that name before. But that's not what you're looking for. Then you go to another website. The next website tells you all about infrastructure, new roadways, stuff like that. Well, you know, the younger generation is not interested in that. You go to a third website. The third website talks all about tanks, Bradleys, attack helicopters, deployments. And that's the cool stuff that every soldier signed up for the Army for. That's what you've been looking for. But what you're missing is the foundation of the thing that you need to know about moving to Fort Riley. And that's why we brought all these subject matter experts in here today to tell you all about things that you really do need to know about coming to Fort Riley. So we're going to kick this thing off real quick on here and introduce everybody. We have Haley. We have her husband, uh, Private Harris. We have Aubrey and Leela. And we have Erica, Specialist Simmons, and Miss Anita. All right, we're going to start off the first question with, um, and this is going to be a forum, but we're always going to kind of talk here. And if you have questions, you'll be bringing them up to us. Approximately how far out did you get notified that you were actually coming to Fort Riley? It was about a month. Okay, about a month? For me, it was about two months. Two months out, and you guys are AIT, right? Yes. The unit disbanded, and we had about two months. About two months from a unit. About a month. Just about a month out. AIT, I'm yeah. assuming. AIT. Okay. That's not a lot of time. One month, two months, even for a permanent party. It's not a lot of time. So a lot of things have to go on in that short amount of time. Now, in that short amount of time, can you guys elaborate a little bit on things that were uh, that were really important that you need to know about? How did you find out about it? What did you do? Uh, we went on the internet, and because I was not able to get in contact with our sponsor, I have been looking around for housing and uh, things to prepare myself for this. Aubrey, you mean? For me, it was uh, getting housing, trying to figure out how we're going to get our household goods here, getting in contact with our sponsor to kind of organize it and get the phone numbers that I needed to uh, the parties that I needed to get in contact with. Okay, yeah, Private Harris, what about a sponsor? I heard sponsor, sponsor. What do you think about your sponsorship? It was very struggling. It was, it was all over the place. Okay. Did you have a sponsor coming here? Uh, I didn't have a sponsor coming here, but I do have one now. I'm PCSing the journey, so it's getting better. Awesome. Okay. So, sponsorship's a big thing. So, half of this program today is going to be all about sponsorship. We brought in the entire uh, division sponsorship program to come in and talk to you about sponsorship. We'll go there in a few minutes after we get done here. Um, real quick, can you guys tell us, if you could tell somebody who's coming here a few things that they really need to know that you've learned through this process, what would that be? I would say be persistent. Make sure that you know everything that you need to know to prepare yourself to move to Fort Riley. Okay, I know one thing she told me last night was don't give up. Okay, if you can't find it, keep trying. You will eventually run into it on social media or ask people. Are we getting it? I was just getting contact with our sponsor, being persistent with our sponsor because that so we couldn't always get in contact with them. But being persistent with it was able to get get me the phone numbers that I needed to be able to put it on the housing list and get a hold of transportation and figure out how we were just supposed to get our stuff here. Okay, you guys want to throw anything out there? Real quick? I would suggest also calling around as well. Um, you can look up things online, and that's fine. But uh, Call and talk to somebody. It's always nice to have somebody actually guiding you through your ear and listening to what it, it's just. It helped me a lot. I was more comfortable navigating my way that way. 
just reiterate, just being connected and doing some research. Research. I agree with research 100%. Now, when we, look, when we look at social media on Facebook and around Fort Riley, we hear all the time that there's nothing to do here at Fort Riley. It's boring. Okay, we, we, we're tired of hearing it. Now, from the subject matter experts, people who've lived through this for several years now, uh, we want them to tell you things that they have to do here at Fort Riley, things they found to do that passes the time and or is pretty fun. You want to start off? For us, we have school-aged children, um, so we got connected to the chapel right away. Um, we go to all the MWR events. They're free, family-oriented, so it's nice to be connected to those. Um, we got a membership at the Flint Hills Discovery Center, which was really cheap, um, something to do on the weekends. Um, and just going out, it's beautiful out here in Fort Riley, so it's just nice to be out. It's always something to do here. Okay, you guys want to elaborate a little bit? We like to actually, I go to the gym a lot, and there's uh, five or six I believe fitness centers on post now, and they all offer something different. Uh, Whitside offers classes, and spouses really like to take those. We also enjoyed uh, racquetball and playing tennis, and we go out and do that on the weekends, and that was fun as well. And there's trails around here you can go hiking. There's plenty to do. Okay. Um, in preparing for this today, uh, I sat down. With, I met with her last night, and uh, one of the things that she talked about was her first couple of months here at Fort Riley, the first four, five, six months. Um, you want to talk a little bit about that and how you broke out of that shell that you happened to be in? Yeah, um, I, I had noticed that um, people kind of kept to themselves, and so I, I kept to myself for a while. Um, but I did want friends, and I knew the only way to go out and make friends was to take the initiative myself. And so that is when I started getting more involved and going to the gym a lot more, taking classes. <laughs> and, um, I started, I went to Barton, they offer free day classes, and so I really took advantage of that. I met people that way, and I went to work with APs, and I met a lot of my coworkers and friends that way as well. Awesome. Now, I totally agree. We hear this all the time, the exact same thing. Okay, so if, when you're getting here, you got to admit that we have an IHG social that's held right here at the hotel. So come to the IHG social. Okay, that's a way for you to meet people, meet people that's in the communities, get yourself out there so you're not sitting there for four or five or six months thinking about what you want to do. And I know she'll definitely cheer that, cheer that on. Okay, we're going to come back to the spouses in just a few minutes. But right now, we're going to take you into our sponsorship uh, team and let them talk to you about sponsorship. Now, we have we brought in a, the division level, brigade level, battalion level, sponsorship coordinators, and uh, they're going to go from A to Z all about sponsorship. I'm going to turn it over to the Division Sponsorship NCO to tell you about that. Hey, good afternoon. So I'm First Class Phillips. I am Fort Riley's uh, Sponsorship Coordinator. Along with me, I have a Brigade Coordinator, Sergeant Long, and a Battalion Coordinator, uh, Sergeant Belcher. We will all give you a piece of what we do to make sure you are sponsored uh, correctly. So when you get on Fort Riley, um, well, before you get to Fort Riley, you do your DA form 5434, okay? That lets us know that you're ready to come to us. 90 days out is when you will receive your sponsor. Anything more than 90 days, uh, we will not assign you a sponsor uh, because you might, you might change sponsors, and we are trying not to have that happen. Your first sponsor should be your only sponsor until you get your feet uh, planted in your company, okay? Uh, once you get here, we'll get you into replacement, Get you squared away, and then we'll get you into your brigade, which is Sergeant Long. Good afternoon. I'm Sergeant Long. I'm the second brigade total army sponsorship coordinator, and my job is to make sure that you all do receive sponsors from your battalion levels. Once I receive a notification in the ACT portal or from the division sponsorship coordinator, I send your information to the battalions and notification so they can get you assigned. The brigade coordinator's responsibility is to ensure that you get a sponsor assigned um, as outlined in Army Regulation AR 600-8-8. We also show up on the Tuesday morning history run so that we can run with the soldiers and let them see a portion of our history here on Fort Riley. Wednesdays, we see you all at the Victory Welcome at the Riley Conference Center where we introduce the Brigade Commander and Brigade Command Sergeant Major. You also see your battalion personnel that afternoon. Each day at the end of the um, day, we the sponsors and the battalion coordinators will meet up with the soldiers. 
Our goal is to capture the diversions and incoming personnel as quickly as possible. Now we start Belcher. Good morning, I'm Sergeant Belcher. I am the 101 BSB, that's part of First Brigade Sponsorship Coordinator. I work with, when I get your name, I work with the Battalion S1 and the SAR Major to slot you within the company that they need your MOS. Once I slot you in a company, my next step is to go ahead and assign you a coordinator. At that point, your sponsor that is assigned to you will then fill out your part three of your 5434, and then I will send you out a welcome letter letting you know about Fort Riley and our unit and what our mission is. That will go through your military email. Once you get here, you're gonna go to replacement. Once you go to replacement, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go through SRP, a finance, a housing, and different briefs. Also, you'll go through a victory newcomers brief where you'll meet um, all your key leaders. Every day at 1600 while you're at replacement, we go down to replacement and we meet you and that's the time when your sponsor can come so you can put a face with a name and know who you're going to and what your unit is about. Another piece that we cover is going to be the barracks. Once you get into the barracks, if you are a single non-married soldier, we'll place you in the barracks. And the way the barracks works now, it's ran by the First Sergeant's Barracks Program. So the First Sergeants have direct contact with the barracks and everyone living in your barracks will be people from your company. All right. You got the game more? Okay, go ahead. So uh, when you get ready to come here to Fort Raleigh, you're gonna land within three, three airports. You have Kansas City, you have Manhattan Regional, and then you can also have uh, Wichita. If your sponsor is not, is not able uh, to come pick you up, there, uh, it is a point of contact roster there for the replacement company here on Fort Raleigh. All you gotta do is call that information, call that number, and they will come get you in a military van, okay? Don't think you're out there alone. You're not, we're here for you. On behalf of Major General Martin and Command Sergeant Michael Nelson, Fort Raleigh sponsorship welcomes you. Thank you. All right, so real quick before we go any further, I gotta throw this out there. I wanna thank Sergeant First Class Phillips for the last two years. He's fixing the head, head out of here. And between myself, Sergeant First Class Phillips, uh, and the Division Sergeant Major getting together. We developed this program here at Fort Riley, the sponsorship program, and it has been a rough ride, and he has done a wonderful job for all sponsorships. We started out, it was at 30% for inbound. 30%. Now we're over 70. So he's done an amazing job, and the guys that's going to follow him will continue to do an amazing job at these great NCOs. So please, if you're needing a sponsor, you've got the team here. All you've got to do is reach out to them and let them know and they'll be here to help you out. All right, guys, let's go out here and let's finish this thing up and talk about who have any questions for us. Okay, we'll find out do we have any questions today from our live audience? Yes, we do. Okay, well, I want to throw it out real quick to uh, Miss Brenda and Christian who uh, put a statement out there on uh, Facebook. Thank you for those comments about Fort Riley. I do agree with you. Fort Riley is a very beautiful place to live. Okay, go ahead. So if I don't have a sponsor, who can I call? If you don't have a sponsor, when you're arriving at Fort Riley, you would call the Division Sponsor Coordinator, and that number is 785-239-5480. Next question is, I'm married, but my spouse is not coming to Fort Riley. Can I still live in the barracks? So if you are married and your spouse is not coming to Fort Riley, according to the First Sergeant's Barracks Program, you are not authorized to reside in the barracks. So if that situation comes about, I recommend that you get a reservation at the IGH Hotel prior to arrival or attempt to get one when you get here. What can I do on my, on my first day at Fort Riley? Your first day at Fort Riley, once you come in, if you're a single soldier and you land in the airport, there'll be a placard with numbers for uh, replacement. Go ahead and give them a call, they will come pick you up if you cannot contact your sponsor. If you're a married soldier and you, either way you, you arrive at replacement, you will sign in at the staff duty desk at replacement to get started the next morning, they will start off. If you're married, you can um, also get a reservation at the IHG Hotel. If not at the IHG Hotel, is, um, the IHG Hotel is not available, you'll contact your sponsor, they can get you to a local community. Okay, and last question. What items do you recommend that we bring with us? Well, I think we'll take that one. What I also bring with us, is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay. Let's, Haley, you got any out? Go ahead. A washer and dryer would be nice. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? In your car? 
Well, I mean, I, I'm with if you. I could bring a U-Haul, I would. I, I'm, okay, great. I agree. And that's washers and dryers. They don't houses do not come with washers and dryers here. So yeah, it's a it's a big item. You got anything you want to throw out there? Nope. No. Okay. Aubrey. Make sure you bring plenty of clothes and cleaning items for when you do arrive. So if you are already on the waiting list for housing and you get your house, you can go ahead and start cleaning all the nooks and crannies that you want to. If you have plenty of clothes to last you if you are not able to get your house. That's one thing for fact. We have four seasons here. Okay, so please make sure you plan a kit accordingly. You guys want to throw anything out there? I would recommend bringing air mattress and your personal care items and, then, and just, just in case there's a delay in your household goods. And then to go see ACS, the linen closet, has a lot of items for families to use as well. And uh, maybe some uh, food items that don't need to be refrigerated just in case you don't have a lot of money with you at the moment um, so you're waiting to get established. And, that you can just keep in the house with you and, and make it hand something really easy. All right, let's just throw this out there just in case. If you arrive here to Fort Riley, you do not have a sponsor, okay, for whatever reason. You haven't got through with them, through to them, and you arrive here, you have not made reservations. I'm going to tell you, make reservations somewhere before you arrive here. That's very, very important. And a spouse can do that just like a soldier can. All right, make your reservations. But if you cannot get in touch with anybody, you arrive here at Fort Riley, take my number, call me. 785-239-5739. I will help you. That's what we're here to do. Or you can contact these guys, and I guarantee you they'll help you as well. All right. I want to throw a real quick shout out to our first responders, okay, who make Fort Riley a great place to live, train, deploy from, and come home to, where there is no mission too difficult or no sacrifice too great. Duty first. Victory. Victory.